Welcome to lesson 2.1.5. Today we're going to learn how to calculate the magnification of a specimen. Magnification is just the number of times larger an image is than the actual specimen. So what you're seeing when you use a device such as magnifying glass or a microscope is going to be larger than the actual specimen. And so we're able to calculate how much larger. Um, I have two equations here that you're going to use when calculating magnification or determining specimen size. And there's quite a bit of information used in each equation, so I just want to explain what each piece means. The first thing you see here is specimen size. And anytime you see that phrase, what that's indicating is the actual size of the specimen. So for example, um, we learned that eukaryotic cells are approximately 100 micrometers in diameter. That would be the actual size of the specimen. It's going to be a very small number. Next we see the size of the image. And the size of the image is what you are actually viewing. So it's something that you could take a ruler and measure. It's large enough to measure um, with the naked eye. And then lastly here we see magnification, and magnification is of course the number of times larger the image is than the actual specimen. Okay, so this is when we are finding magnification. Another situation that you may come in contact with is using a scale bar to determine the size of a specimen and then in turn determine um, magnification. Um, so a scale bar has two pieces of info here. The first is scale, and scale indicates what does that scale represent. So for example, on a map, you may have an inch is equivalent to 10 miles or something like that. So in that case, the scale is 10 miles. It's what the bar represents. Scale size, then, is the actual length of the bar on your paper. So you're going to take a ruler, you're going to measure that bar, and that's going to be your scale size. Then again, we've got specimen size, which means the same thing it did before, the size of the actual specimen. And then we've got the size of the image. So again, that's what you're seeing. You can use a ruler to measure. In both of these cases, you want to be sure to use consistent units. This is really important um, because you may be going from nanometers to millimeters, micrometers, whatever. Um, it's important to be converting as you go to keep your units consistent. Okay, now we have some practice questions. For each of these practice questions, I'm going to give you a little bit of information about it, and then I'd like you to pause the video and actually try out this practice question. We'll go over them all in class um, when this video is due, but please take some time to practice these. So for the first one, it says to calculate the number of 100 micrometer cells that will fit side by side in one millimeter. This is actually a simple conversion question. Basically, you're figuring out how many micrometers will fit in a millimeter. So what you need to do here is convert millimeters to micrometers and then divide by 100 micrometers. So I'd like you to pause and do that. The next question, what is the actual di diameter of the red blood cell? Now in this case, you're gonna be using the image that's provided on the side of this slide. Uh, wherever you're viewing this, when you pause, you're actually going to take a ruler and you're going to measure the scale bar and you're going to measure the diameter of one of those cells. Um, so this is asking for the actual diameter, which we can also interpret as the specimen size. So you're going to be using that first, or I'm sorry, you're going to be using the second equation for scale bar. The scale is 5 micrometers. The scale size you'll need to measure. The specimen size is what you're trying to find and the size of the image you'll need to measure. So pause and do that now and determine specimen size. The third question says scale bar 5 micrometers measures 29 millimeters on the image. What is the magnification? In this case you are going to use um, the first equation given and in this case the scale bar is actually acting as the specimen. So we know the actual size um, because it says that it's 5 micrometers and we know the image size. So you can plug those both in to, to um, determine magnification. 
When you pause this time, please do number three and number four as those questions are both similar and use the scale bar as the specimen. So pause now and do that. Question five says a micrograph has a scale bar of two micrometers, which measures 10 millimeters on the image. Measuring the maximum length of the cell in the image, the ruler reads 105 millimeters. What is the actual length? In this case, you're going to be using the scale bar equation. You are given the scale, you're given the scale size, you're given the um, size of the image, and you just need to plug this in to determine the actual size of the specimen. So pause and do that now. Thanks for watching this um, magnification video. I can't wait to go over these with you in class, and I hope this has been helpful.